we would like to call upon the panelists of the next session dr rp singh dr vk gopal dr rakesh agrawal dr jayesh chilana dr bhupesh singh dr praful marana dr vipul nayar good afternoon uh, i think dr praful thank you i am dr neeraj manchanda and about, i am about to begin this case this is a posterior subcapsular cataract can you hear me clearly yes, in sir. the audience okay so this is a posterior subcapsular cataract last week only we have done the other eye this is a young female 40 year old female and already a diffractive can we have the microscopic view avt ah microscope microscope please so you can see the cataract so other eye already has been implanted with a multifocal defined lens the oro company i am going to operate on a hummingbird machine which is again a new machine by the oro lab and it is a very good machine i have been operating this machine on this machine for the last one month now and i have done more than 50 cases so far it is a very good machine and i am also starting my case can you see the microscope clearly yes sir yes sir so i think i'll be not describing much about the surgery surgery everybody is now very proficient so i'm making the side ports i'll be talking more about the machine i'll be using some xylocaine adrenaline she is a young patient i always prefer to use a little bit of anesthesia although this is a topical anesthesia so this comforts the patient a lot so i'll be putting in the visco elastic so now making the main entry so again these blades that are, i am using i am very comfortable with these now orolab has made these ultra fine blades and they say they are comparable to i have been using alcon blades also and they are very good blades comparable to the alcon blades so now i'll be doing my rexes with a needle seedha dekho light mein teen bulb ha so i am doing this cap slot mein i'll just focus the microscope little bit focus kar do iska right mein diya tha focus ha so actually they have changed the parameters for the microscope today ha ha i am focusing they have changed the foot pedal to the hand focus so you can see the lift of the flap because it was defocused in my plane so i could not see the cap slot me now you can see so you can see this axis so it is very important to make a as good a axis as possible for a multifocal lens so i'm going slow and steady as you can see this is a soft cataract so the axis is complete circular axis which is important well centered is it clear there yes sir it's clear now, now i'll be doing the hydro a gentle hydro 2 cc syringe this is the step to be careful never use too much pressure and always compress in the center after starting the initial hydro then from the other side you can see the beautiful golden ring yes sir we can see the golden ring so as this is a soft cataract nothing much in the cataract but the machine that i'm going to show you it is a beautiful machine especially you can just press the foot pedal and forget the rest the there is no surge in the machine so far so now i'll be doing on the continuous irrigation mode continuous kar do so you can see the you can see this is a very good hand piece also very comfortable to use thin hand piece almost even thinner than the alcon machine i am using so hardly any feco is required but you can see the chamber stability with this machine next kar do so here the suction is around 350 ha na 350 suction 400 400 suction and you can still see the stability so no need to rotate much also so you can see it is just i am in the center and carefully i am just removing the nucleus which is just like a soft as an epi nucleus so so far so good stability epi nucleus kar do so now i am going into the epi nucleus mode suction kitna hai abhi 3 10 suction and still you can see the stability
So like I told, just remain in the center and FECO is done, although this was a soft cataract. Now I'll be doing the irrigation aspiration. So since this is a posterior subcapsular cataract, not a very difficult proposition, but for all to see. Continuous irrigation, I always use a bimanual for the irrigation aspiration. More comfortable, easier to go into the superior edges. So irrigation aspiration, again, the chamber stability is very, very good in this machine. So vacuum is 400, flow rate is 34. The good part about this machine is that it has a pneumatic cutter available. No need for putting an extra cylinder. I've been working on the Appa Swami machines also, but this Orolab machine has an inbuilt pneumatic vitrectomy cutter. And myself being a retina surgeon also, if and whenever required, it is of a great help. Although I've never used the pneumatic cutter on this machine so far, but 1200 up to 1200 cuts it gives. So you can see the this part is done, IA is done. I'm going to put in the visco. And now we'll be putting the lens. I'll show if the lens can be seen. This is a preloaded auto defined lens. Uh, whether you can see the rings, I don't know, I'm not sure. It will be seen when I'm inserting it. So you can see it is already preloaded. So I am pinching it. That's it. And now we will press the front. Remove the nozzle, so you can see the nozzle, nozzle is removed. Now coming back to the eye, and I'll be gently inserting the lens. Ah. So you can see the beautiful movement of the lens. So you can see it is going in well, it's opening up. I think now you can see the rings, is it visible? The rings are visible now? Yes sir, it's visible. So now you can see the beautiful rings, it is, this is a diffractive lens. I am a retina surgeon. I generally do not put many focals, but so far as many auto defined lenses I have used, there is hardly any problem. And in this patient, just early morning, I asked her, she's very comfortable with the other eye. I myself saw the vision in the morning. It was N6 and 6 by 9 and she was very comfortable. So other eyes are doing well. Hopefully this eye will also do very well. The trick in multifocal IOL is to Basically, if there is any astigmatism, use a toric multifocal or IO, uh, otherwise the multifocal can cause problems. And especially if there are patients who are having diabetic retinopathy or any other problem, myself being a retina surgeon, I will not put a multifocal. But for all other purposes, if the patient demands and understands, we'll always put a multifocal. If the patient demands, I never give the patient a choice for multifocal the first time. So whenever there is a demand, then we explain the patient. What is the pros and cons of the lenses? So this lens is good for intermediate, near and distance, all visions. So it is a mixture of apodized and non-apodized optics, diffractive. So now just clean, cleaning up the anterior chamber. So thorough cleaning up is also very important. So you can see the ease. I think there was no surge during this whole surgery. Yes, and everything can, going uh, on comfortably. You can see 1.5 millimeter rim covering the lens and you can see the rings. So now we are almost through with the surgery and I am now hydrating the wound. So any questions from the audience or from the panel, I'll be glad to answer. Any question from audience? Or the panel? Is so Dr. Chilana the, there? Uh, no, sir. Okay, the okay, no chamber problem. stability is really good. Ah, it is very procedure. good. So this is for a... Mid-segment machine, this is equally, I've been operating on all machines. I'm operating on Intuitive, I'm operating on the Alcon machines also. I'm doing on the Constellation also in the retina surgeries with the FACO. This is equally good machine, even the hard cataracts, although this was a soft cataract, even for hard cataract, this machine is very, very good because it has a stroke length. The stroke length is very good, 120. So stroke length is very, very good in this. And the so, incident size is 2.2 only. Incision site, no. I made a 2.8 incision. I'm more comfortable with a slightly larger incision because I feel the chances of wound leak are much lesser in a slightly bigger wound. So I'm not in favor of generally 2.2 millimeter incision, even if the company people say. But it can go through a 2.2 also. 
so you can see the completion of the surgery small air bubbles but that is just part of it and i think the surgery is over and we can maybe now move on to the next surgery if everything else is there are no more questions any question from audience sir you highlighted one important point in diabetes patient you don't prefer multifocal i i don't i don't prefer because But already they are suffering from multiple images multiple they are chances of having macular edema they are already undergoing if there is a advanced diabetic retinopathy injection and everything and then to complicate because we know multifocal is not the perfect lens it may be good for some people because it can cause more scattering of light if we put in such a patient a diabetic patient having such a problem then i don't do it and it is generally it is not a absolute contraindication but i will say it is a relative contraindication so, so if patient doesn't have any diabetic retinopathy then you so again prefer. again pinch of salt you can explain Light the patient <laughs> that if you are going to suffer <laughs> if That's you want to really tell the truth <laughs> that depends <laughs> on the surgeon who is operating <laughs> because again if there is no diabetic retinopathy and you know that <laughs> <so> it is <laughs> going to come <laughs> there <laughs> i would always prefer monofocal but multifocal definitely you have to do a <laughs> very <laughs> good counseling <laughs> without a good counseling never put a multifocal or even a trifocal for that matter thank you sir for the wonderful okay. surgery thank you.